Uh, yeah, so we have developed a, a solution called Leap, Learning Enhancement and Assistant uh, Platform, which is an AI platform and then it's powered with uh, Intel One API Analytics Toolkit. And um, so it's, it has two components. The first component is like uh, an AI examiner and the second component is a ask question and answer. So the first component, or let's say, I mean, you have, you have a video and then you, you have any question around it. Right, normal ways is like you go to a forum and then ask or you, you kind of Google and then kind of get it. So our tool is like you ask a question, we have a chatbot which actually takes through uh, the, the video and then point the, the video correctly at that moment so that you can only revise that particular moment. And that actually helps you kind of like instead of you skimming through the entire video, I mean, you're only focusing on that part. So that's first first one. And, and in fact, if you have any other questions, I mean, the chatbot can look into the, uh, the data and then you can, it, it kind of answers the, uh, it kind of answers your questions. That's the first part. The second part, I mean, the AI examiner is ideally, right? I mean, many a times we take a lot of courses, right? I mean, or like, it's like lesson one, lesson two, lesson three. Now, there will be an exam, right? When, whenever we take all the lessons. So what do we try to do? I mean, we also have an AI examiner where it asks you a question. Like, let's say, I mean, it can be a multiple choice question or it can be a, uh, open-ended question right and then you are supposed to answer it and what happens if I go wrong right I mean unlike other things where if it goes wrong we don't say like yo that, that's wrong right rather we kind of give you a hint okay so how can you improve upon like how can you learn from your mistake so that's the AI examiner part uh, which we kind of developed in uh, Leap. Components that we used were like Intel Neural Compressor, Intel Extension for PyTorch and Intel Extension for CycleLearn with the help of uh, Intel One API, we were able to basically uh, do a bench. Uh, we did a benchmark on uh, Cypher Rapid Fourth Generation uh, machine, and we able to basically get 4x, 4.4x uh, kind of uh, improvement uh, uh, with, this, with respect to our current solution. So this journey started uh, about three months back when we got the email notification that we can participate in the uh, Intel One API hackathon. From then, we decided on the autonomous uh, driving object detection challenge and we formulated a model. And over the past three months, we were, we were given, given mentorship and we developed our model. And then at the finale, the 30 hours, there was an offline mentorship. All the mentors were really helpful in uh, developing our model and making it more efficient. And then we developed it and we find out how to use the Intel One APIs to further optimize the model and then we presented the benchmark results and that was a successful uh, development of the project. Yeah, so we, we developed a cascade net architecture for object detection problem. So we solved object detection using YOLO V5 algorithm and lane detection using ultra tech, ultra fast uh, lane detector algorithm. And all these algorithms were based on PyTorch and we also incorporated a depth estimation module so we were using MIDAS depth estimation from uh, TensorFlow for that. And uh, we have used uh, all this in, in uh, accordance with TensorFlow. And uh, TensorFlow optimization we have done using uh, the Intel's TensorFlow optimization available from Intel One API. And uh, apart from this, we have developed, uh, on top of that, we have developed various hardware accelerations. Uh, in the Intel uh, One API domain that are available in the Intel One API architecture. And we have incorporated uh, several new data types like BF16 to accelerate the hardware performance as well. And we were able to obtain a very robust model that uh, uh, is, uh, is deployable in rainy conditions, in adverse weather conditions. It is also a comprehensive framework that we have been able to develop and we are able to achieve a faster inferencing using Intel One API libraries. So it, it has been a very great uh, project that we have been a part of. And uh, Intel, Intel One API ha has been at the core of it. So yeah, it, it is a very good uh, learning experience for our team. Yeah, so like our team was uh, object detection in autonomous, autonomous vehicles. And the pre-trained model which we used was faster RCN and RSNet. So like uh, our approach was very simple, like uh, like since our like I will brief about my idea, like uh, our, our idea included like uh, detecting the vehicles in the night time, especially. So the pre-trained model, which we took uh, from the TensorFlow official model directly, directly we retrained and uh, fine-tuned that model particularly, particularly on our 
own data set like uh, which which we created and labeled that data set uh, such as the vehicles coming from the night like uh, we took around 100 images and labeled them accordingly like uh, like where all uh, cars are there and then fine tune that model on our own data set and we got an uh, like a model which can uh, detect uh, vehicles during the night time so once we got the uh, our model like uh, which we were going to originally use we took that to the one api uh, ai and analytics toolkit and uh, through the neural compressor we tried to compress our uh, original model so and uh, after compre uh, like uh, compressing that model we were uh, like able to achieve more uh, optimization than it was earlier like uh, its uh, latency was reduced and uh, like its throughput got uh, increased okay and uh, so talking about the prominent APIs which I have used is uh, mostly the one DNN and OpenMP optimization which we have applied in each and every model over here. So one DNN uh, leverages the like model uh, by like, reducing the training time and also increasing the inference speed. So like three of our models, the drowsiness detection, the mental health chatbot along with uh, face pose estimation, all of them require a real time uh, estimation as well. So for that we need uh, reduced latency. And that is just encouraged with the help of uh, one DNN. Now, along with that, we have also used OpenMP, which is open multiprocessing. Like we have used optimized each uh, our model by using each and every core available in our CPU. So that just uh, boosted the performance, all over performance. And like we can also have the benchmarking in the GitHub link which we have provided. So thank you.